Welcome back to Data Shark Academy. So in previous lesson, we created two Kafka topics. Okay. Now if you want to look at what are the topics available on your Kafka cluster, there is a command option within the Kafka topics.sh. Okay. And it's called list. So let's try this out on the terminal. Okay. So first of all, we need to make sure that we are under the location where the Kafka topics.sh uh, script is available. So that is on the user HTTP current Kafka broker slash pen. Okay. Again, if you are on Mac, this location will be different. Just go to the location where your Kafka is installed. Most likely it will be user local Kafka and under bin, you will see all these uh, executables. All right. So once you are there, we can start the Kafka topics and um, the option this time is list because we want to list all the topics and we need to provide the zookeeper server. If you are on the sandbox, this will be sandbox hyphen sdp dot hotbox dot com and the port will be 2181. If you are on uh, Mac or Linux, instead of uh, sandbox sdp hotbox.com, use either localhost or 127.0.0.1. Okay, now enter. So, as you see, we have two topics that we created before Data Shark topic and Data Shark Academy topic. These are the topics that we created in the previous lesson. All right. There are some other system created topics as well, but we don't need to worry about those. All right. So now here you see that we have both the topics that we created in the previous chapter. Okay. There are some other topics as well, which are created by Kafka. These are system level topics. For example, consumer underscore offsets. This is used to keep track of the offset IDs, which are consumed by the consumer as we learned in the foundation classes. Okay. All right, so this is how you can list all the topics in your cluster. Try this out on your end, and if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.